Hi everybody, welcome back to Designs by Michelle. Today I was going to do a quick tutorial of what I've done to my kitchen for the holidays and I kept it very, very simple this year. Um, as a matter of fact, I've got somebody coming over in just a little bit so it's kind of tidied and I thought, you know what, I'll do the video now. Um, but I just put up a nice table runner which I love the contrast on the kitchen table something simple, uh, a little lighted um, centerpiece, which is always nice. And then this year, and I'm going to keep it low so it doesn't burn you, I just did live garland draping around my um, chandelier. And as I do more of a backed up view, you'll be able to see it. And I did the same thing for my sconces this year. My husband went out and I think he went to Lowe's or Home Depot, and I apologize for not knowing which one, maybe even Costco, and got the live garland, and I cut it up. Now, my hands were pretty cut up for a while, but I cut it up. And then over here, just a really clean kitchen. All our Christmas plates are already inside the, the cabinet. But again, this is so simple. I just draped the live garland across my garden window, and it's nice because I do have this shelf in between. It's Again, it's kind of one of those things that it's indicative of a little bit older home, but then you just make it work for you, right? And I have these illuminated trees, and then I, um, these, these orbs, which I absolutely love, they only stay lit for like a week, and it just burns through batteries so quickly that I thought, you know what, I'm just going to tie in my own lighting and the reflection of the trees on those orbs is all that I really needed this year. So that's the kitchen. Um, nothing else too exciting. I did do, although it's kind of messy. Um, let me move my daughter's items. I did um, on a cute little pedestal. That's all that is, is a cute little pedestal. Wipe down the counter. Um, I just uh, took, again, sprigs from the live garland painted a few of the um, pine cones. And look how simple this is. This is a darling, my sister got this for me years ago. I mean, literally years ago, I think it's 10 years. But look what a cute, clean setup that is for the kitchen. I tend to get really overzealous in the kitchen. And this year, I, like I said, I hosted Thanksgiving and I'm like, I need this simple and clean. And so I think I really achieved that in this area this year. And then um, one of the things I did is I looked up on Pinterest and just saw different things people were writing. I made this chalkboard. I took an old picture frame and I put chalkboard paint on it. And then um, these are one of those cool, um, it's a chalkboard pen. And so that gives you that really intense bright white and I love that and talk about simple that's you know your own hard work being put into that so go on Pinterest they have a lot of really cool um, chalkboard ideas and I also think I'm going to start putting some of my stuff on Pinterest I've never done that before and I don't know why because I absolutely adore Pinterest um, as we come down here this is my family room I don't know if I did any videos again last year I can't remember it's been kind of chaotic but I did paint all down here as well. I painted the fireplace white and I've got this gorgeous wreath, which again, I just put my own sprigs in this wreath. I'm gonna turn up the lights a little bit so you can see, but I'll come a little closer. There's my doggy sleeping in a Santa suit. He's a very sweet doggy. But notice I, I kept some of my regular pillows on the couch and I just incorporated um, little holiday pillows with it. That That's my stand-in tree because I still have to get the kids live tree. So we just put that there as a place marker. But I got this year through QVC, is he not beautiful? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That was my big Christmas in July. I always tell people shopping Christmas in July. He is my giant nutcracker. He's done in the silver and golds and he truly is exquisite. He is a showstopper when people walk in. But I'll show you how beautiful the wreath looks. Hopefully you can get a good view of that. And really all I did was add all my own, well, my own lighting too, but this was an outdoor wreath, one of those giant, gigantic outdoor wreaths. And I added all the different sprigs and I'll show you up close what those look like. So I've got some green and the different foliage makes for a nice 
um, you know, it gives you depth. Again, I'm always looking to layer. So this is simple and that light up top is really super offensive. I'll turn it off again and back up, but I just wanted you to get the full look of this room um, and going up the fireplace. Really happy with that. Now across my um, bookcase, I think I did have the book. I think the bookcase I might have painted two years ago, but I put on, my girlfriend Elisa gave me these really, really cool handles. And my father has come, and if you've watched my other videos, I had some crystal uh, knobs upstairs that I told you I got from Wish. My dad has come, and he's always here putting more handles in. I keep buying them, and he is a perfectionist, which is great because the precision he puts into placing those handles has been wonderful for me. Um, I'm going to step up on my coffee table here and show you that I always put a garland up but it no two years ever looks the same and so I this year I went with more silvers because uh, the, the background wall if you've paid attention to other videos it's all changed it's called balanced beige I think it's through Sherwin Williams um, my girlfriend Jeannie had painted her house in it and loved it and it is probably the most um, perfect color to be able to go between the browns and the blacks. You know, it blends with grays, it blends with taupes, it blends with browns. But anyway, I paint, or I just decorated packages this year. And I know lots of times I tend to get a little bit crazy on what I put on top of here. And I just decorated all these packages. Again, Dollar Store or Ross Marshalls for this paper. I mean, those ornaments, it's an ornament string. That was Dollar Store. You can see the reindeer on that one package, hot glued on. All those snowflakes, dollar store, hot glued on. And then you come across here, and I did the same thing over here. And what was nice about it is you could do array, an array of package sizes, and um, you can pick whatever colors work for you, and you just um, adorn them, and I'll have those for next year as well. And as always, I um, put my... Um, village up but quickly i'll show you this turned out kind of cute this is a really odd cubby i have um it, it was supposed to be where the tv went so when we all had those really tiny thick tvs it fit in here um, but i made this little cute snow village and those are timer controlled lights so i actually use a remote control on it so it's really nice when you're sitting back here on the couch to be able to look and have that cute little village there. And then something simple here, I just took this sleigh that again, I, I get so many gifts from my friends. This was from my girlfriend, Jeannie, and I love this sleigh. And I simply just stuffed an artificial tree in it and then um, put out some holiday books on the tray. And that is just, it's perfect, it's easy. I can put nuts out and that's simple. I kept it simple down here. And then here's my village this year. And if any of you have villages and you know how lights go out and everything else and parts start falling apart, I'm dealing with the same thing. So this is such a jerry-rigged village. <laughs> it is hysterical. But I always try to put foliage deep so it feels like it's really um, deep in the woods somewhere, um, kind of that whole Appalachian kind of feel just something I'd always love to go to for the holidays and um, and then sprinkle that glistening snow but one of the things I did this year is up top here look at this those are the battery operated lights and so why that's kind of cool is it gives this nice back glow to the back wall because really they're only being illuminated from within so anyway, those are a few of the tricks this year. Nothing too, too exciting. Our bar just put a simple, that was from my mother-in-law, a beautiful um, floral uh, in the browns, and, and these light up. A lot of things I'm waiting, as you can see, it's only five o'clock, and I'm waiting for a lot of my flameless candles to kick on on their own. Um, did a very simple vignette right here of our side table. And I took, again, this was a gift from Jeannie. Look at that clock. I absolutely adore it. But I just went simple, and I put 
wrapping paper around these candles and it's just gray and white striped wrapping paper and I thought that was just so beautiful and simple and then these crystals down here my sister bought me a whole bunch of these crystals and I literally just sprinkle them throughout the house and I'll put ornaments with it and it just gives the nicest little um, twinkle and uh, sparkle and glamour so Again, thank you for watching Designs by Michelle. I hope that you will take time to look at some of my old videos as well because there's always that possibility, you know I like to change things every year, that something from years past might strike you um, for this year and you might wanna give one of those a whirl. Um, hope you are all enjoying your holiday season. Enjoy your decorating, don't get stressed out. I know it's overwhelming. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching Designs by Michelle.